Hello, good evening guys. How are you today? Hello, hello, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Perfect, thank you. How are you guys? We're fine. Perfect. Thank you very much for joining to this class. I'm so happy to see you. We will go ahead and start with the class right now. All right, and we will continue with the previous topic that we have yesterday. So let me see one moment. So I can share the screen, guys. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Marielos. Hi, Emanuel. Hello, Jose. Hello. Hi, Dinora. Hello, Mabel. Hi, Ezequiel. Hello, Amilcar. Welcome. Welcome, Luis. Hello, hello, Luis Ernesto. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Christian. Hi, Stefania. Okay, guys, it's, it's a pleasure to see you again. We will continue with the class. And I would like to ask you, what was the topic that we had yesterday, guys? Do you remember what were we studying yesterday? Yeah, no. The coordinators con, con <laughs> the fanboys. The, uh, it's better, right? The fanboys. The fanboys. It's, it's easy. Yes, the fanboys. Very good. <clears throat> Hi, Osbin. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Kenny. Welcome. Solamente me ayuda con todo su nombre, Kenny. Poner todo su nombre, please. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Okay. How are you, Kenny? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, guys, we will start with the class. Uh, let me get a moment and I will share the screen. One moment, please. Okay, guys. So, this is the class number three. And today we will continue having a review about the fanboys and also about, we will talk about restaurant industry vocabulary. Uh, we will have a review about the coordinated conjunctions right now. And later on, we will continue with the practice that we had yesterday, the quiz, okay? We got in the middle of the quiz. So we will continue with the quiz today. All right, I mean, with the game that we were practicing yesterday. So guys, let's go ahead and try to pay attention because we will have this uh, review about the fanboys or coordinated conjunctions. So basically the coordinating conjunctions, guys, are words, are conjunctions that join, all right? Thank you, Mabel, uh, that join two words, two phrases, or two sentences. Um, right now we are talking mostly about sentences, complete thought, complete ideas, complete sentences, right? 
A complete sentence is the one that it has a subject, a verb, and a complement. So basically here we have like two independent clauses, right? Between the fanboys. We have one sentence here and we have another sentence here, all right? As I mentioned yesterday, we have a subject, all right? We have a subject in both sentences, then we have a verb, all right? And then we have a complement, yes? And this is a complete thought. Un, com un pensamiento completo, una idea completa, una oración completa. That is the reason why we use the comma. Por eso es que utilizamos la coma en medio, okay? How many of you watched the video that I sent to you yesterday, guys? ¿Cuántos vieron el video que les mandé ya anoche acerca de los coordinating conjunctions que les dije que me encantaba mucho porque estaba muy completo? Somebody? Yes, I think. I Thank you, baby. I saw the video. I really love the video. It gave you more information than the one that I'm giving you right now. Uh, what I'm doing right now is giving you the basic thing, but the video gives you a complete class about the coordinating conjunction. That's what I like it. Daniel, what can you tell us about the video that you watch? Any ideas that you got? What do you remember? Is for me it's not clear, but the I need more information, more explanation, step by step, for be clear. But I think when you are explaining, uh, it's more complete when you are explaining, but not in the video. Really, for me it's difficult to understand. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. But I Sometimes saw. Sometimes it's complicated because. Of course, it's a video and you don't, you're not like um, with that person, right? You don't have the opportunity to ask more questions, right? And also sometimes it, it may be um, difficult because of the accent, because it is speaking, it is speaking too fast, etc. All right. But it has more information. It has definitely more information about coordinating conjunction. Uh, in the video, guys, it explained um, more examples about how to use the coordinating conjunction, not, not only in complete sentences, but also in phrases and also in words. Um, en el video, guys, les explica que en, en los coordinating conjunctions también se, se utilizan, como les decía anteriormente, no solamente para unir dos oraciones completas, sino que para unir dos frases. Le da más como ejemplos de frases que unen o ejemplos de palabras que se está uniendo, ¿verdad? Y cuando no se utiliza frases, ¿verdad? O no se Sí, perdón, cuando no se utilizan oraciones completas, eh, no se ocupa la coma. Pero acá, como estamos, hemos dicho, ¿verdad? Que tenemos una oración completa, que tiene subject, que tiene verbo, que tiene complemento, por eso ocupamos la coma. Ustedes van a encontrar, guys, eh, en... Eh, Van a encontrar, ¿verdad? En su momento, y de hecho, como les digo, siempre cuando introducimos un tema acá, nosotros tratamos de irnos, ¿verdad? De lo más básico a lo más complicado. A veces solamente damos un parte, una parte del, del tema. Y pues yo creo que este es el caso. Los coordinating conjunction, la verdad, eh, o los fanboys, yo siento que es un tema un poco más complejo, ¿verdad? Por así decirlo. Y de alguna manera en un futuro vamos a seguir viendo un review de esto o otro uso de los coordinating conjunction. Entonces ustedes van a ver ejemplos donde usted no va a tener una, una oración completa, sino que va a tener una frase o una palabra. Como les dije el día de ayer, yo puedo decir uh, que David en... Eh, Ismael, all right, 
are playing, etc. Right? So David and Ismael are playing. Acá estoy ocupando la, la palabra en, all right? Que es una coordinating conjunction. Estoy yo uniendo dos palabras, ¿sí? Entonces, acá yo no necesito comas, guys. ¿Por qué? Porque no estoy hablando de una oración completa. Una oración completa, acuérdense, tiene que, tiene que estar compuesta por tres, ¿verdad? Eh, tres partes, sujeto, verbo y predicado, para que yo pueda poner esa coma acá, ¿sí? De lo contrario, si usted no puede identificar esas tres partes, no le vamos a poner coma. Y por ejemplo, en este caso, lo cual es súper sencillo, ¿verdad? David y Ismael are playing. Eso es lo más básico de los usos de los, de los fanboys, ¿verdad? Pero normalmente el fanboy o los coordinating conjunction guys se, eh, realmente se da a conocer, ¿verdad? O es muy conocido, perdón, por utilizarlos, ¿verdad? En oraciones completas. ¿Sí? Y por eso es que les traigo estos ejemplos y por eso vamos a seguir practicando en este momento acerca de ellos. Pero realmente el, el video que les mandé es acerca de eso. Les da más ejemplos de cómo podemos ocupar las fanboys, otros usos de las fanboys, ¿verdad? Que básicamente es el mismo, unir, ¿verdad? Pero unir frases o unir eh, palabras. En este momento nosotros estamos viendo cómo unir oraciones completas. ¿Ok? Que se convierten prácticamente en cláusulas independientes, ¿verdad? Cláusulas independientes, eh, divididas por un coordinating conjunction. ¿All right? So, thank you very much for your comments, Daniel. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. ¿Ok? And whenever you are getting more and more, Maybe you will get more sense to that video, all right? But it's fine. Thank you very much. So, guys, um, let's see. Let's continue then with the explanation. As I mentioned, those coordinating conjunctions are called fanboys because of the because they stand for um, so, yet, or, but, nor, and for. Okay, that's why they are called fanboys all right let me ask you again i know i asked you yesterday but let's go ahead and review it because we uh learned it yesterday so we will see if we remember do you remember what is the meaning for four guys kenny ayúdame con todo su nombre please perdón que la moleste Sorry. Sorry. Four, uh -huh. what, what is the meaning of four? Es como dar una razón. Very good. It's for giving a reason, right? Yes. Very good. It's, so it is like saying because, right? It's, it's similar to because. Very good. What about and, guys? You As can say the meaning in Spanish if you want. Sorry? Sorry, Jose? Add one thing to another. Uh -huh, very good. Add one thing to another one. Very good. So we are adding one idea to another idea. All right. Here we're explaining the reason why this is happening. Okay. Explaining the reason. And what about nor? Hmm, this is one of the complicated ones, right? What about nor, guys? What is it? What is the meaning? Nor Emmanuel is for uh -huh. union to ide ideas. It's for joining, joining two ideas. Two two ideas negative. Uh -huh. It's for joining two ideas. Perfect. But what is the meaning of nor? ¿Qué significa nor, guys? You can say it in Spanish mm -hmm. if you want. Me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. What about bad? Pero. Mm -hmm. Pero, right? <laughs> uh, or? Easy teacher. Another option. <laughs> another option to give another option, right? What about yet? 
No idea. Pero. Pero, ajá. Uh -huh. It's similar to bat, okay? Bat. What about so, guys? So? Entonces. There you go. It's like entonces. So, guys. <laughs> All right. I was feeling hungry, so I made myself a sandwich. Okay? All right. What about yet? Yet is like bad, right? Kelly was convinced, was convicted criminal. Yet many people admire him. Okay. I it's will a... go shopping. Yes, Julio. Julio um, I I am learning is is bad. Is is uh, what many she know menos. Salvo y exacto. Except. I have, except. I have for us, us. Synonymous. Synonyms. Yes. Synonyms. Oh, okay, yes. yes. But is one of them. Exactly. But is one of them. Very good. Thank you, Julio Cesar. So, let's see the or. Uh, I will go. I will go shopping or... I will go camping, all right? I can say, vamos a hacer una oración con, con este, con el do, miren. Con el or, sorry. Do you prefer pizza or uh, pasta? <laughs> Almost the same, but okay. Pizza or salad, all right? So, do you prefer pizza or salad? All right, Easy. that. Okay, pizza, Julio Cesar, right? <laughs> okay, so guys, look at this. We're using or here. Estamos utilizando el or, pero estamos utilizando para unir dos palabras nada más, okay? Ustedes van a ocupar, ustedes van a ver, identificar estas fanboys en otras estructuras también un poco más cortas. Y ahí ustedes van a decir, oh, here I have a fanboy, okay? Pero no en oraciones completas como esta. Let's see the next one. But they rushed to the hospital, but they were too late. They rushed to the hospital, but they were too late. Oh, my God. Uh, next one. Nor I don't expect children to be rude, nor do I expect to be disobeyed. All right. So um, let's see. I will ask Luis. Luis, Luis Alberto, Kenny, Kenny está ahí, Kenny, ayúdenme por favor con su nombre completo, Kenny, Kenny, ok, um, sorry, Luis Alberto, are you there? Yes. Thank you, Luis. Uh, so, could you please help me to translate this sentence to Spanish? Uh, Luis, the, the one that is with nor, I don't expect children to be rude. ¿Cómo lo, lo, lo traduciríamos al español? Ok. Uh, no espero que los niños sean rudos, ni, um, ni, ni, es, ni espero que uh, sean desordenados. Desobediente. Ajá, muy bien. Desobediente. Muy, muchas gracias, Luis. Thank you. Thank you very okay. much. So, si ustedes se fijan, este uso del nor, guys, vamos a hacer como un review de esto otra vez. Nosotros estamos utilizando eh, básicamente acá dos estructuras negativas, ¿verdad? Pero esas estructuras negativas al principio, si ustedes se fijan, está negativa, súper negativa, right? La otra también, pero es más pero no estamos ocupando un auxiliar negativo, lo cual es la diferencia de este primero. ¿Por qué no estamos ocupando un auxiliar negativo? No estamos ocupando un auxiliar negativo porque estamos utilizando el, el fanboy que es negativo y es nor. Acá guys, nosotros tenemos dos cláusulas, como anteriormente habíamos dicho, ¿verdad? Dos oraciones completas, ¿ok? Pero como las dos pertenecen a una oración, ¿verdad? La llamamos cláusulas. 
Muchas de las veces nosotros decimos hay una cláusula dependiente y otra independiente, pero acá las dos son independientes, porque las dos me dan a entender una idea completa. Lo cual quiere decir que el nor ya no le pertenece a esta cláusula, le pertenece a esta, ¿verdad? A la segunda. Por ende, como le pertenece a la segunda, vamos a utilizar el nor, vamos a tomar ventaja del nor acá, ¿ok? Y por eso ya no vamos a poner un auxiliar eh, negativo, sino que al contrario lo vamos a poner así, ¿ok? Por si decirlo como positivo. ¿Sí? Dependiendo también de la persona de la que estamos hablando. En este caso estamos hablando de él, I. ¿Ok? I. Si yo estuviera hablando de she, de he, or it, que es tercera persona, entonces yo le pusiera acá, I doesn't, es, ah, perdón, she doesn't, he doesn't, or it doesn't. Expect children to be rude. Nor does she expect. ¿Ok? Nor does she expect. Pero... ¿Qué pasa? Ok. Uh, ¿Qué pasa si yo aquí quiero decir que ni... Es que esta es como que ni, ni a Milker espera que sean roots, ni yo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué tal si yo tengo acá el nombre de Amilcar, right? Pero yo aquí en la segunda quiero decir de que tampoco yo espero que sean desobedientes. O sea, Amilcar no espera que los niños sean rudos, ni yo espero okay, que sean desobedientes. ¿Lo puedo hacer? Claro que sí. Yo le puedo poner acá a Amilcar. Ok, Amilcar, ¿does or doesn't? ¿Guys? Doesn't. Doesn't, right? Doesn't. Ok. Doesn't. Lo que les quiero decir yo es de que al final las dos cláusulas eh, son muy independientes de la otra. No quiere decir que porque al principio acá tengo el I, yo voy a ponerle basado en eso el auxiliar este, ¿verdad? Entonces digo, Amilcar doesn't expect children to be rude. Sorry. To be rude. Ok. Coma, nor, y ahora yo quiero decir yo, ¿ok? I, nor I. Ok, a este punto, acá, el siguiente auxiliar positivo que vamos a poner, guys, que eso tiene que ir porque así es la estructura del nor, ¿ok? Eh, perdón, nor, nor, ¿verdad? Pero yo quiero poner el I después. Entonces, como yo quiero poner el I, ¿Voy a seguir ocupando el do o voy a seguir ocupando, voy a poner el das por la milcar? ¿Qué creen ustedes? Déjenme eh, no, un segundo. No, no. Acá las estoy escuchando. Do. Sorry, solamente estoy conectando a mi compu. ¿Yes? Sorry, teacher. No Thank you, Kenny. Sorry, que eh, me también. Me no, cambié no de dispositivo, no, no ah, escuchaba okay. nada en el otro. Oh, thank you. Okay. Solamente, ¿ya cambió su nombre, Ken? Sí, sí, ya. Yeah. Ok, great, thank you. Sorry, guys, sorry. So, dígame, eh, ¿ponemos el nor does I o nor do I? Ok, I'm back, guys. Sorry, que si no se me iba no, a parar no, la cosa. Nor do I. Nor do no, I, right? Nor do yeah. I, right? Perfect. Sí, guys, porque acá lo que tiene que haber es un agreement, ¿ok? Un agreement con la cláusula a la que pertenece el nor, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo como acá quiero decir que ni Emilcar ni yo, ¿verdad? Y ahí damos la idea. Entonces, nor I, sorry, nor do I, ¿ok? Expect y sigo con, la, con lo mismo. Okay. Entonces lo que yo les quiero dar a entender es que esta segunda cláusula que es independiente no va a depender de la primera. No porque aquí estoy hablando de Amilka, yo le voy a seguir poniendo el DAS acá. Porque va a depender de, de qué es lo que yo quiero decir. 
si yo quiero poner el I y el I, entonces dejo el do, ¿verdad? Si le quiero poner la tercera persona, va a depender de lo que usted quiera decir. Solamente recuérdese que este auxiliar va a depender de la persona que usted ponga aquí en la segunda eh, cláusula, no en la primera. Esto va a depender de esto. Estos dos van a ir together, ¿all right? Together, forever, ¿all right? So, uh, vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio con el nor porque veo que sí es un poquito, a little bit complicated. Uh, les voy a pedir que me hagan un ejercicio todos y me los manden al WhatsApp. Solamente de nor, ¿ok? Un ejemplo de nor. Teacher, what is structure? Any structure. Cualquier estructura, ¿ok? Send me an example, guys. On the WhatsApp group. En el grupo de WhatsApp, mándenme un ejemplo todos de cómo pudieran ustedes hacer una oración con eso, con el NOR. Y mientras ustedes me hacen las oraciones, um, I will go through the attendance list y antes de ir a la attendance list, yo le voy a dar ahorita más ejemplos con el NOR. Ok. Just one moment, guys. Okay, I believe I have one example here. Let's see. Well, I have a lot of examples. Very good. All right, perfect. Estoy viendo algo and I really like this. Estoy viendo que todos me están poniendo en presente, presente eh, simple. Present simple. So, como ahora estoy viendo que están ocupando el presente simple, ya vamos a verlos una por una. Eh, quiero preguntarles algo, guys. Um, ¿Qué pasa si yo pongo otra, eh, otro tiempo? 
¿verdad? En la oración y ya no ocupa un presente simple. ¿Ustedes creen que el auxiliar del do o el das va a cambiar? ¿O siempre va a seguir siendo el do? Did. Ajá, did, ¿verdad? Did, ¿y eso va a depender de? El tiempo. Ajá. Ah. Eh, va a depender el, perdón, me dice el did, ¿verdad? En, en... Del, del verbo, sería. Depende del verbo. Ajá, depende Paz del tiempo. <ríe> Ajá, ok, muy bien. Si usted escribe en pasado, entonces usted lo va a poner el did. Dijo, ¿verdad, Luis? Muy bien. Entonces, una observación. No, no dije. ¿Perdón? No, no dije, Ticha. Bueno, no sé si, si lo, lo quiso decir así, pero yes, you're right. Eh, Le voy a dar unos ejemplos ahorita. Give me a moment. Let me share the screen. Ok, y vamos a ver sus ejemplitos, guys. Just one moment. First cream, uh, whiteboard. Ok, let me know if you can see the whiteboard, guys. Yes. Perfect, thank you. Ok, so a esto me refería, mire, le voy a dar un ejemplo un poco diferente con el tiempo. Por eso yo quería irme con el norm un poco más despacio para que podamos, en... yo les había dicho que estos fanboys los podemos utilizar en cualquier tipo de estructura, en cualquier tipo de tiempo, right? Presente, pasado, futuro, anytime. Entonces, ¿qué pasa si el nor yo lo quiero ocupar no solo en presente, sino que lo quiero ocupar en pasado, digamos? Yo digo, eh, René, ok, René did not want to go to the party, all right? Sorry. René did not want to go to the party. Come on. Um, let's see. Vamos a poner nor. Nor. Did. He won to go to the market. Okay, so here we have this example. Le voy a poner otro. Ya voy a ir a la explicación. Ya, ya, let me see the explanation. Just one moment. I will give you another example. Okay, one moment. Uh, let's see. He did not talk. Vamos a ponerlo en contractado. He didn't. Talk to his friends. Nor did he call his father. Ok, so guys, les voy a explicar una estructura más. Como les dije, no le voy a poner tantas estructuras. Why? Because we're still, we are still learning this and we are starting right now. We're starting, ok. Estamos apenas empezando, no quiero confundirlos ni quiero eh, que nada más nos quedemos con el nor y digamos, oh my God, qué complicé es el nor. Así que nada más para confirmarles si ustedes ven en un futuro, e incluso vamos a seguir teniendo reviews de este tema. Eh, pero acuérdense, ahorita es una introducción. Pero si ustedes vuelven a ver el NOR, no quiero que, me, que ustedes digan, oh my God, pero es que teacher, la teacher me dijo que aquí tiene que ser do. Y yo veo que dice did, pero entonces, ¿qué pasa? Algo malo pasa ahí, dice usted, ¿verdad? Entonces acá, nada más para aclarar, guys, este, eh, este fanboy, que es el nor, también se puede utilizar en otras estructuras, ¿all right? O en otros tiempos. E este tiempo es en pasado. Traigo dos ejemplos de pasado. Yo digo, Ren René did not want to go to the party. Nor, nor... Did he want to go to the market? So, René no quiere ir al, a la fiesta, ni quiere ir al supermercado, ¿ok? 
Entonces, usted se fija, no, vamos a no cambiar el do por el did. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando en pasado, guys. ¿Ok? Por eso cambiamos el auxiliar. ¿Sí? En el segundo ejemplo, he didn't talk to his friends, nor did he call his father. Él no habló con sus amigos, ni habló con su papá. No hizo nada, right? <ríe> ok, so, si se fija, también le estoy poniendo el did porque estoy hablando todo, eh, mi idea es hablar en pasado, ¿sí? ¿Cómo creen, guys, que yo hiciera esta oración así? Les voy a decir en español, ustedes me ayudan, ayúdenme, vamos a ver. Me gusta que lo analicemos. I like that you analyze this. Guys, ¿qué pasa si yo quiero decir? René no quiso ir a la, a la fiesta. René no quiso ir a la fiesta, ni yo. Yo quiero decir que ni él fue, perdón, él no quiso ir y ni yo quise ir. ¿Cómo podría ponerlo? En la primero. ¿Somebody? ¿Alguien que me ayude? Um, I... No. No, sorry. I... Do. Oh, ok. Sorry. Nor do I, right? Mm -hmm. Nor do I. Aquí es como un po una versión corta de que tampoco quise ir a la, a la fiesta. Y para no repetirlo, lo dejo así. René did not want to go to the party, nor do I. Did I or do I? Did I. Did I. Did. Very good. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. No did I, right? Nor did I, ok. ¿Por qué lo dejo hasta ahí? Para no repetir lo mismo que no did I want to the party. ¿Sí? Para no repetir lo mismo. Pero lo puedo poner. Pero es... Se está convirtiendo en una oración wordy, se llama. Wordy, como que muchas palabras solamente para decir algo que ya se entiende. Así se llama cuando usted eh, tiene una oración wordy. Muchas palabras, por eso es wordy, ¿ok? Entonces, pero lo dejo así. Very good, Jaime. Good job, guys. So, nada más eso les quería aclarar. No me quiero entrar más a fondo a este tema ni a este tipo de fanboy, porque esta es una introducción a las fanboys. In, in a future, we will continue with this topic. I promise to you guys, I promise. Y ustedes se van a dar cuenta que mediante más vayan practicando y viendo más acerca de ese tema en un futuro, ustedes le van a ir entendiendo. Pero si yo vengo y les traigo todo de una vez, you will, uh, you will go ahead and, and make an, um, I mean, make a mess in your head. Okay, that's what is going to happen. And I don't want that. All right. Pero hasta el momento, guys, se entiende lo que les quiero mencionar acerca del nor. Is that understandable? Or is it still confused? Ahorita vamos a, hacer, a ver sus oraciones. Yes? No? Maybe, teacher. We need to practice, teacher. Yeah, we need to practice. It's a bit confusing. Yes, it, it's I It's a bit know. confusing, but uh, when we are practicing, it's, uh, it's more clear for us, I think. Yes. Miren, guys, vamos a ver sus ejemplos. Deme un segundito nada más. Y los vamos a ver acá todos. Ok, acuérdense que estamos practicando, estamos aprendiendo. Let me see, one moment.
sorry, guys. I got one thing to do here. Okay, uh, let me verify. Uh, let's see. I don't understand. Come on, <laughs> Luis. I do not. I do not understand English, nor do I understand Spanish. Wow, very good, guys. Look at this example. Yes, I do not understand English, nor do I understand Spanish. Okay. Ni, uh, I don't, no entiendo inglés ni español, ok? Uh, next one, dice, he doesn't like, he doesn't like uh, to eat or he doesn't like eating, ok? He doesn't like eating pizza, nor, um, permítame, nor, sorry, nor, nor, um, nor does he like eating burgers, ¿ok? Así sería básicamente. Creo que el das es que va antes, tendría que ir antes del subject, ¿ok? Jaime, eso sería, he doesn't like eating pizza, nor... Does he like eating burgers? ¿Ok? Yeah. Solamente el, el eating, eh, no se lo corregí al principio, pero así va. I don't sing well, no, nor do I dance. Luis, primero va el do. Do I? Okay. Dance. ¿Ok? Very good. All right. Vamos bien, guys. We're doing awesome. Ok, let's see. Um, uh, oh, okay. I don't like a movie nor this one. I don't like. Oh, entonces vamos a decir aquí, Jose. I don't like this movie. Como que usted está comparando, right? I don't like this. No, o, o puede decir, I don't like that movie nor this one. Okay? Como para okay. tener una, una alternativa, ¿verdad? No me gusta esa película ni esta. ¿Sí? Okay. Very good. Vaya, fíjense ahí como I really like it, José. José, sorry. José, el ejemplo de José, guys, que dice I don't like that movie, nor this one. Si ustedes se fijan, él no está ocupando una completa idea en la segunda oración. Por eso es que no le puso la coma. Ah, ah, very good, José. Entonces, sí. solamente está ocupando como la frase, ¿verdad? Pero estamos ocupando el nor. All right. So, very good. Ah, uh, Emanuel, I don't want el guana. <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't want I don't I don't want to eat pupusas nor do I eat pizza. Very good. Nor do nor do I want pizza. Solamente sería el want, okay? Nor do I want pizza. Solamente el want es falta, Manuel. Very good. My brother hates parties. Uh, oh, muy, muy buen ejemplo, Jorge. Vale, lo que vamos a hacer acá, Jorge, uh, let's see. Sí. Es que lo vamos a poner en negativo, ¿ya? Como una de las condiciones para ocupar el nor es que las dos, las dos eh, oraciones tienen que ser negativas. Entonces, agarremos la misma idea. Que no le gusta la, perdón, que he hates party, lo podemos decir, my brother doesn't like party, y ya, la, ya lo pone en negativo, ¿sí? O sea que las dos, guys, las okay. dos, los dos ideas, los dos pensamientos tienen que estar en negativa, ¿all right? Entonces, muy buen, muy buen ejemplo, gracias por traerlo. My brother doesn't like party, nor do I. Very good, Jorge. Uh, my father doesn't watch the car, nor, nor I do. Christian, ahí solamente le pone el do en vez del don. Ya no eh, ponemos en negativo el don porque ya el nor me lo está poniendo negativo. Acá este el nor ya, lo está, ya me lo está indicando negativo. Si yo lo pongo acá también, por ejemplo acá, estoy negando doble. Entonces solamente dejo el nor como negativo. Let me see donde, where we are right now. Um, 
Wow, guys. Y even though it, this is the first time you're doing awesome. Yo no lo hice, ¿sí? <laughs> I, 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 I didn't do it like that. Yo me equivoco. One, two, three times. Okay. Good job. All right. The camera doesn't recognize nor display display oh okay acá hace falta el auxiliar Estefania pero I like your idea the camera doesn't recognize image like any image podríamos decir alguna imagen no no reconoce un rostro o doesn't recognize a face para completar esta ideita nor y de ahí le agregamos that porque estamos hablando de la cámara so decimos the camera doesn't recognize Vamos a ponerlo a esta, guys, I really like it porque estamos hablando no de una persona, sino que una cámara. Look at this, dice, the camera does not recognize, vamos a decir a face, digamos, uh, nor, coma, right? Nor, um, does, right? Does it does it, uh, let's see, the camera doesn't recognize the face, nor does it re display files, ok? So, si ustedes se fijan, el it está reemplazando cámara, ok? El it está reemplazando cámara. Estoy hablando siempre de la misma cámara. Entonces, yo digo que no reconoce rostro, ni um, display files, ¿verdad? Y le ponemos el das porque estamos hablando de una third person. All right? Very good, Estefanía. Let me see. I can go to San Miguel, nor can, mm, can go, sería ahí. Déjeme revisar esta, sería... Aquí ya estamos hablando de otro, de otra estructura o de otro, sí, de, un, de otra estructura. Give me a second. Ahorita vemos este. ¿Cómo lo podemos hacer, guys? Give me a second. Pero si se fijan, this is, uh, this fumble is a little bit more complicated than the other ones. Voy a poner un, un uh, reaction para ver dónde me quedé, guys. Sorry, let me get a second. Ok. Okay, guys, so look at this example. Give me a second. Aquí estamos ocupando otra estructura, pero estamos ocupando el nor para eh, unir, por si decir, dos palabras. All right? And those words are the, the following. Miren ese ejemplo. I can go to San Miguel, all right, tomorrow. 
Fam uh, no coma, no coma, all right. Nor to Usulutan, ok? Acá lo modifiqué un poco. Vean esta. I can go to San Miguel tomorrow. Nor to Usulutan, ok? ¿Por qué no le ponemos como? Porque estamos hablando de una frase, por si decirla, ok? Entonces, si se pueden fijar, también lo utilizamos acá. Para no hacer tan repetitivo lo mismo, por eso es que no, yo no le puse lo demás, ¿no? Porque podría decir, nor can I go to Usulután, para no hacerlo repetitivo, porque al final es lo mismo. ¿Ok? Pero si usted se fija, dependiendo de qué estructura esté ocupando, así es el auxiliar que usted va a ocupar. ¿All right? Any question, guys? Questions at the moment? Vamos a seguir viendo sus ejemplos. Don't worry. Do you believe it is better now that you're practicing? Are you understanding it better, guys? Yeah. Yes. It's more confusing? <laughs> a little confusing. A little bit. Okay. Ya vamos a ir más. Aclarándolo un poco. Don't worry. Ok. Uh, Dinora. I don't, I don't want. Ahí sería I don't want sin la ed. I don't want to receive roses. Vaya. She did. She doesn't want. Ok. I don't want to receive roses. Nor. Oh. Acá. Entonces. Dinora. Lo que vamos a hacer es. Ponerle el do. En vez del don't. Porque en la segunda cláusula ya no lo vamos a negar, ¿ok? Porque ya con el nor se está negando. Entonces yo digo, I don't want, I don't, I don't want, sorry. I don't want to receive roses, nor I do expect okay. uh, to receive sunflowers. Solamente le vamos a quitar la E de al verbo, ¿ok? I don't want okay. to receive roses, nor do I expect to receive sunflowers. Very good, Dinora. Ok, here we have, I didn't, I didn't go to San Miguel yesterday, nor today. Very good. Good job. Muy bien. I like this one. Uh -huh. Estamos uniendo dos frases, dos palabras. Ok. Very good. We cannot understand it, nor the reason of it. We cannot understand it. Um, we cannot understand it, nor the reason of it. We cannot understand it. Estamos, déjeme ver esta. We cannot understand it. Mm. Creo que aquí lo podríamos modificar, Ezequiel. We cannot understand it. No lo puedo entender ni siempre hablando del tema. Yes, de. The... Es lo que queremos poner. About the thing. Term... The nor explication. I cannot understand. Sí, siempre podemos decirlo. Oh, ok, podemos hacerlo así, mire, Ezequiel. Eh, no puedo entender el tema ni la explicación. <risa> Digamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, tal vez lo podemos hacer. Sí. We cannot understand the topic nor the explanation, okay? Okay. Very good, Isique. Qué apegado, ¿verdad? <laughs> no, pero guys, eh, está bien. Eh, vamos a seguir practicando. Do not worry. My brother did not go to the lake, nor did I. Very good, Amilka. My sister didn't like work late, nor did I. Good job. Fatima didn't go to the bed, no did I. Ajá, miren, ese se ocupa mucho, guys. El nor did I, nor, nor do I, se ocupa mucho. He doesn't like eating pizza, nor does he like eating burger. Very good. Thank you for rewriting it. 
I don't think well, nor do I dance. Good job. My brother cannot stop his dog nor his cat. Wow, very good. Solamente le vamos a quitar la coma, Milcar. Porque como no tenemos complete thought, solamente le quitamos la coma, ¿ok? Uh, I did not work tomorrow, nor to, sorry, I did not work today, nor tomorrow. Ajá, solamente le quitamos la coma. Como no es complet, oración completa, le quitamos la coma, ¿ok, Ospin? Si fuera una oración más completa en la segunda parte, ahí sí va coma. Si lleva un subject, a verb, and complement. I can do, I can write. Sería, Julio, I can... I can write English, nor, okay, vamos a arreglar esta, don't worry, le vamos a poner, I can, I cannot write English, y ahí se lleva la coma, nor, Nor can, porque estamos hablando del can, ¿ok? Nor can I speak it, speak it. I cannot write English, nor can I speak it. Miren el ejemplo, me gustó mucho el ejemplo de Julio, guys, porque es bien eh, challenging. Me gusta porque es bien challenging. Está, está difícil. El de Julio Merino dice, miren, I cannot write English, nor can I speak it. ¿Por qué le puse el speak it? Porque estamos hablando del, del, del el it reemplaza English. Para ya no volver a poner English, yo digo it. I cannot write English, no puedo escribir inglés, ni puedo hablarlo. ¿Ok? Miren esa. Very good, Marcos. I didn't like... I didn't like going or I didn't like to go to Guatemala, ¿ok, Marcos? Nor, ahí le quita la coma porque no estamos hablando de una idea completa, ¿ok? No coma, no coma. O sea, no hay comas, please. Thank you, Marcos. Solo le quita la coma. Y le corrige like going or like to go to Guatemala, nor to Antigua Guatemala, ¿ok? O podría contrastar dos países, Guatemala, no Nicaragua. Wow, guys. A round of claps for you, ¿ok? Por favor, desen un aplauso. You did an amazing job. Me gustó mucho todos sus ejemplos. Very challenging, ¿ok? Good job. I'm so glad that we understand it. Aunque ustedes digan que está confuso, guys, pero I really like it. Es que... Yo hubiera querido tener también una maestra así. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, guys, you did an amazing job, ¿ok? Very good. Me siento muy contenta porque es un tema un poquito complicado, de verdad. And you did it awesome. Fíjense que sus ejemplos yo no veo como algo súper grave que yo diga, oh my God, no, de verdad no le están entendiendo, right? No, de verdad, le entendieron. Y you did it, right? Solo son cositas Simples. Ahora bien, guys, if we talk about the other fanboys, they are easier. Okay, they are the, the most easier. Um, let's see. So we if we talk about the other fanboys, let's see about for and but or yet, so they actually are easier than nor. Okay. They are easier than nor. So let's see. Um one moment. Uh, guys, do you want me to practice? Do you do you want to practice another one? Because this is the most difficult. If you can manage this, you can manage the other one, guys. Okay? Are we good right now? Estamos bien? Yes? Uh, we are good. Perfect. Okay. Guys, recuerden que sea 100% que ustedes van a llegar para entender un tema, lo van a, lo van a, lo van a, you will get it until you practice more and more and more. Ahorita solamente es el inicio de las fanboys. Later on we will continue practicing, okay? So look at this guys. I will go through the attendance list really quick because I haven't gone through the attendance list. 
Mm, my apologies, but we will do it right now, okay? So today is Wednesday, right? Wow, we are in the middle of the week already. Uh, Angela Estefania Marroquín Martínez. Present. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniel, could you stay with me today in the one-on-one session? Yes, no problem. Thank you. Okay, and Daniel Isique will go tomorrow. And then on Friday, Estela Mabel, okay? So, Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Que se nos hizo Ezequiel. Uh, Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Present. Josué Emanuel Rodríguez Hernández. Present teacher. Julio César Merino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Kenny Lisset Cuer de Barrientos. Present. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. María Dinora Llanes de Hernández. Present. Marielo Janet Cornejo Arazo. Present teacher. Thank you, Marielo. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Where is Sabrina? Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. José René Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Thank you. Nelson Vladimir Flores Martínez. Okay, very good, guys. Thank you very much. Um, okay, very good, Kenny. Sorry, but I can't go to the cinema today, nor can I. Nor can I. Le falta el I? Ajá. Can I go tomorrow? Good job. Wow. Mire, ya me lo está escribiendo como que estamos en la conversation, ¿verdad? Very good, Kenny. Ok, so guys, miren, ayer estábamos haciendo el ejercicio, el quiz, all right? And we were getting confused at some point, so we will continue today, all right? Vamos a terminarlo de hacer ahora. Vamos a ver si ahora lo hacemos un poco mejor. Let me share the screen and we will do it together, ok? Do you see the screen? Let me share the sound. Oh. Yes? All right, uh, guys, so we will do it from the one, number one, okay? Lenny likes neither the hot weather. Guys, miren, esta, um, el neither no lo hemos visto todavía, pero significa también el ni, solamente que es cuando yo digo ni le gusta esto ni lo otro. En, en, el, en los ejemplos anteriores nosotros estamos diciendo... No me gusta esto ni esto, pero no estábamos diciendo dos veces ni, ¿verdad? Sino que una vez. Entonces, cuando se ocupa el neither, lo ocupa con el otro, con el nor. <ríe> ya les di el ejemplo, les di la, 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 la answer. Ajá, lo ocupamos con eso, pero ok, we're learning, ok. So, it's nor, right? Or is another one? Y me salía, bro. All right, so Lenny likes neither, veámoslo. Lenny likes neither the hot weather nor the cold weather, ¿ok? Luego vamos a ver esa estructura, el neither nor. Pero ya you already know que nor, uh, we use it with neither. Cuando vean esa estructura van juntos, neither, neither nor, ¿ok? Ok, next. Um, this student was late. Four and so bad, she started to run. 
So what would be the answer here? A, B, C, or D? Guys? Marcos, Antonio, what would no. be the answer? Four. So, C? Okay, let's see. <laughs> yes, the student was late, so she started to run, right? Very good. Next, next. Casey didn't get to go. Guys, cuando, yo di, cuando you say didn't get, es cuando no consiguió hacer algo. Casey didn't get to go on the roller coaster. Wow, roller coaster. And, but also the long ride. What would be A, bat. B, or D? Bat? Bat. Sure. Letter B? For me? Um, yeah. Letter B, guys? Casey didn't get to go to the roller coaster, but the long ride. No. Or. Four? Or. Or, sorry. Or? Or the long ride. I don't know. What, is, what do you think, Mabel, no. Jaime, Julio Cesar, Marielos, and eh, Jose? It's confusing. It's confusing, huh? Uy, and I don't, I don't, I don't hear it. Luis, what do you think? Luis Alberto, what do you think? Love. What's that? Which, which one? I, I mean, think it's letter C or. Letter C or. Yes. Okay, let, let me see. Let's see. See, right? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Very ah. good. Good job, all right? What about the next one? They studied all day. It still didn't do well on the test. A, B, C, or D? A, but. A, a right? But. but. Very good. Perfect. Next one. James. Jaime. Okay. James was tired. Uh, let's see. One moment. Was tired. G. M. 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 And he M. didn't M. want to go to bed. So. B. Yesterday yeah. we saw that example, guys. Yeah. Ayer vimos ese ese ejemplo. Letter C. Letter I don't know. No. I don't know. Letter yes. C. Letter C. Yes. 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 Sí. Okay. Yes. A. Yes. <laughs> es como pero, right? But. Él estaba cansado, pero no quiso ir a, a su cama, right? James was tired, but he didn't want to go home. Go, go to bed, sorry. Yet, he didn't want to go to, uh, to bed, all right? Next, the police couldn't find the car. Or yet so, and the driver. Dirty. D. They D. couldn't find the car and Letter the driver. A. Letter A? Letter D. Oh D. my God. Letter A or D, guys? Letter, Letter A. Letter D. D. Oh my God. What, what should I choose? D. Here? The police couldn't find the D. car. D. D. D? Okay. Find the car. D. Okay. D. 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 Oh. <laughs> or. <laughs> okay. Or. Okay. Fran decided she would visit neither Kate and nor some other. Nor. 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 Nor.
Yes. Ok, ah. yes, it's Nor. Miren, eh, sorry que estamos viendo esta estructura. Creo que eh, el ejercicio no, no, no se acomodó bien al, al, a lo que estábamos hablando, pero ok. Estamos, está el ejercicio más acomodándose más con el neither nor, pero como you already know que neither nor van juntos, por eso, right? <laughs> But you already, you already uh, practice nor, so you understand, guys, que aquí falta el auxiliary. Oh, bueno, no. De hecho, no falta el auxiliary porque estamos uniendo Dos, dos nombres, right? Dos words que son sí. Kate nor Samantha. So, no dije nada. <laughs> I didn't say anything. All right. The poor dog was called A, B, C, or D. And. And. and, 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 and the poor yes. dog was called and hungry. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay, next. Judy closed the door. <coughs> Walked B. outside. B? Yes. And B, right? Okay. Judy closed the door and walked outside. Very good. Next. He has got a sore back and uh, he is still so active which one is it he has got a sore back a b c or d mm -hmm. i can get <laughs> B? All right. Let's choose B. Yes, B. Yes. Very good, guys. Wow, you're doing awesome now. All right. So, Dad remembered to shut the door. He forgot to lock it. But. 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 Okay. Dad remembered to shut the door, but he forgot to lock it. Very good. Good job, guys. Next, the girls wore old clothes. They couldn't go in the mud. Mm -hmm. Yet. Yet, yes, yet. Yet, yeah. yet. Ah, let's see, so. <laughs> The girls wore all clothes, so they couldn't go. All right. I bought a new notebook. I could start writing poems. Mm -hmm. Time is Four. over, guys. So. Four. Two. Oh, my God. Time is over. <laughs> You didn't uh, see, but we had time. But you know what? You did an amazing job. So congratulations, guys. A round of applause for all of you, okay? You passed the quiz. You can go to intermediate too. <laughs> Not yet, right? But okay. Um, you're, doing, you're doing awesome, guys. Great job. <clears throat> questions about this quiz? No questions? No questions about that practice? No. Okay, so guys, we will continue then. Um, after practicing the coordinating conjunctions, I will ask you to please go to the page 11 on your uh, manual. We will practice your punctuation and write a, a review of your favorite restaurant. Okay, so please go to the page 11 on the manual. Page 11.
Okay, guys, so are you on the page 11 now? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so guys, we will go ahead and check the punctuation right now in the sentences one, two, and three, okay? Uh, basically, it's just check the, print, uh, the punctuation and then we will work on this number nine, okay? Let's go ahead and, and write uh, just a five lines review, okay? Solamente cinco líneas of your favorite restaurant. What services do they offer? What characteristics makes this restaurant good? And we use comparative adjectives and coordinating conjunctions. Tratemos de utilizar, utilizar sorry, in the paragraph que vamos a hacer de cinco líneas, okay? Um, hablando de su favorite restaurant, comparative adjectives and coordinating conjunctions, okay? So, primero, let's check the punctuation that we have in the exercise number eight. And then we will work on the exercise number nine, which is to write the five line review of your favorite restaurant, all right? So let's go ahead and do this right now. Uh, let's do something in order to go ahead and um, do it faster. Let's do it this together, all right? And then you do this individually, okay? So let's see, add the corresponding punctuation to the sentences below. Check answers with the classmate. Number one, um, Jorge, could you please read the number one? Is Jorge here? Let me see. Oh, yes, he's here. Yes, could you please help me to read the number one? Just to read it. Who? Oh. Uh, the number one, just read it. Could you please read it? I go to expensive restaurant for their service and dishes are very good. Very good, thank you. Okay, so I go to expensive restaurants for their service and dishes are very good. Guys, do we have a good punctuation here? I believe that comma is missing. The comma is missing, right? Where do I put the comma, yeah. guys? Where do I put the comma here? In that the service. For their service, right? Here? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. I go to expensive restaurants for their service and dishes are very good. So we have two complete sentences here, okay? Two complete sentences. And we it is divided with a comma, <clears throat> okay? So let's go to the number two. Uh, let's see. Um, Marielos, could you please help me to read the number two? Marielos, uh, uh, number two. Oh, no worries. Yes, Marielos, could you please help me to read the number two? Our restaurant need to offer especially dishes and they have to offer they out in case you are the hungry. In a hurry. Very good. Thank you. So, guys, uh, is is there missing any punctuation? What do you think? Thank you, Marielos. I believe that comma too. Comma, right? Where? Where should I put the comma, guys? Before end. Before I end. Wish. Very good. 
Very good, yes. Restaurants needs to offer specially, specialty, sorry, specialty dishes. And they have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. Very good. Um, all right, the last one. Um, Dinora, could you please help me to read the number three? The delivery person arrived late, so we got the food for free. Very good. The delivery person arrived late, so we got the food for free. Do I missing something here? Any punctuation mark, guys? After late. After late? Okay, a comma, right? Very yeah. good. Sorry, this comma is like like is is lying on the on the page <laughs> the delivery person arrived late so we got the food for free okay so remember guys the punctuation whenever we're talking about fanboys and whenever we we're talking about complete sentences is before the fanboy here okay comma before fanboys we have sentence comma fanboys and then we have sentence okay that is the formula for this questions about punctuation guys no questions no no Okay, so guys, we have 10 minutes to write five line review of your favorite restaurant. Vamos a escribir un review, verdad, de su uh, restaurante favorito. What services do they offer? What characteristics made this restaurant good? We will use comparative adjectives and coordinating conjunctions. Vamos a tratar de utilizar lo que hemos aprendido, ya sea los coordinating conjunctions or los comparative adjectives, okay? Y luego, guys, you will share this with the class. Le voy a pedir a algunos que me lean lo que escribieron. Five line paragraph. Algo de cinco líneas que escriba your favorite restaurant, okay? Let's do it individually, guys. We have 10 minutes until 9.34 to do it. If you have any question, feel free to ask me, all right?
Les estaba hablando y con el micrófono on here. I mean, Microsoft off here. Sorry. Les estaba preguntando, guys, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Todo bien? ¿Tienen preguntas, questions? Y está molestando a Milcar, que, te, que tiene cara de sueño, Milcar, le estaba diciendo. I'm tired, teacher. Sí, estamos apenas el miércoles y créanme que yo también me siento tired. Pero ya casi, guys, ¿ok? We almost done. Hágame un favorcito todos, all right? Um, cuando finalicen el paragraph, si quieren levantarse un ratito a traer agua, vayan, ok? Vayan al baño. Ahorita porque no los quiero interrumpir, han de estar súper inspired, ¿verdad? Están inspirados. Y no, teacher, espérenme, ya vengo. <laughs> No, ok, Amilcar, it's fine. No, si quieren ir levantarse un momento, ya sea a mitad del paragraph o después que termine, hagámoslo. Igual tenemos hasta las... Oh my God. Creo que las 35. Five more minutes, ok. Tenemos hasta las 35. I want to eat. I want to eat too. <laughs> I want to eat this. Marcos, si usted acaba de llegar de su trabajo, right? Bueno, todos, pero yo sé que a Marcos a veces está como que ahí acaba de llegar y se conecta rapidito. Ya casi, guys, ya casi. We almost done, ¿ok? So, como les digo, a las 9 y 35 vamos a tratar de lo, leer lo que ustedes tienen. A las y 36. Si quieren levantarse, ir al baño, ir a traer agua ir ahí afuera, respirar el aire puro un ratito. <laughs> you can go back later on, ¿ok? Pero antes de las 36, please. When, whenever you finish, o al menos que usted dice, ah, ya voy a terminar, solo una oración. All right? Please, guys. Sure. Jaime, how do you feel? Oh. Tired? <coughs> no, I feel good, Good. All yes. powers, sir. Con todos yes. los powers. Oh, okay, It's Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> It's Wednesday. Then on Friday, you're going to be like yes. sleeping, right? I start the, uh, in the, more, in the Monday, 10%. The, ah. the, the Thursday, 50%. Uh -huh. No, <laughs> it is the contrary. No, you started with 90%, 80 no, 90 no. The Wednesday, I, I... Ah, usted al final, ya... I con, have a, oh, Okay, at the end, all right, I got your point. And the Friday, oh. I have a, a, a 100%. Oh, bueno, yo al contrario, ya Friday, ya tengo 0%. <laughs> Low battery, dice ya, on Friday. Low battery. Please charge. <laughs> Please charge. <laughs> 
Did you do you have vacation, Jaime, or did you finish your vacations? No, the this, one that you the, talked this before. Week, this week we 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 are the training. Oh, you're in, in tra you are on training, but yes. boring training. <laughs> Christian, oh my God, que se nos había hecho. Dije, Christian, se me durmió. <clears throat> Christian is sleeping. Jaime, no, why, no, Christian, why Christian is not participating anymore? ¿Qué le dijo usted? Jaime, ya cuéntenos. <laughs> <coughs> Él me dijo que ya podía hablar inglés, así que ya no, mejor se ah, okay. <laughs> listen. Ah, ok. Oh my God. Nada como, que como dice que fue a España, dice, ya vio que ni español podemos hablar, entonces, ¿para qué? <laughs> I know. No, he was he was telling me the experience he got on on Spain last time. It was great. No, si nos explicó, me explicó, right? And, he was speaking in English in Spain. Oh. <laughs> no, Maybe en, there were a lot of stories there. En, en España, la mayoría de gente donde sea que trabaja. Hablan cuatro o cinco idiomas. You got two, Christian. Three teachers, I'm going to say. I'm also, I, I, I also <laughs> speak. <laughs> Not well. Who can speak Nahuatl here? We speak in Nahuatl some, some words, some meaning. Really? Yes. Háblenos. Mm. Jaime. No, o sea, algunas palabras que mencionamos son, son del náhuatl. Oh, yes, yes. Which ones? Huacal. Huizalco. Huacal. Eh, chacalín. Chacalín. What is chacalín? Camarones. Ah, ok. Um, ¿Qué ver la otra? Eh, la chancla. <ríe> La chancla, ah, really? Matate, matate yes. Ajá. <coughs> esas palabras. Yo pensé que se me había dicho que no, yo sé unas palabras, pues sí, todos, right? Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> ok, thank you for sharing, guys. Okay. ¿Cómo vamos? Fine. Did you finish? Do you want to get one more minute? O sea, hasta las 33. <laughs> No two more minutes, all right? I do no? so six lines, but I I already five. I already said no, teacher. Three line. Six lines. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Con reglón por en medio, por eso son seis, teacher. Yes, and I match two two lines. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Marcos Antonio Melgar Perez, did you finish? <clears throat> I have three sentences, teacher. Marcos, please. You're in the middle right now and there's missing one more minute. Well, less than one minute. Well, it's time already. I I I understand, teacher. I confuse the class. <laughs> I don't believe you, Marcos. You didn't say teacher. I don't understand. Teacher, stop. Stop right here. Explain again. You didn't say that. <laughs> you say yes, teacher. Everything good. I'm pro. Okay. <laughs> no, eh, Marco, si tiene preguntas, me manda ahí un, un WhatsApp y yo, okay. yo le ayudo con un audio ahí o un, otro video and more examples o podemos ver la clase de nuevo. Okay. okay o en el okay. 101. Emmanuel, how are you? Are you good? Yes, Emmanuel. Yes, I'm really good. Okay, Emmanuel. Thank you. Kenny, Jessica, Dinora. Mm -hmm. Good, all right. Julio. Julio good. Ramirez and Julio Cesar. Good. ¿Cómo estamos? Fine. Good teacher. Perfect. Yes. All right. Luis Ernesto Gómez, we miss your, we miss you. Where are you? Hi, Luis. 
que se nos Sorry. ha hecho lo... Ah, ok, you're there, you're there. Here, here. Here, here, ok. <laughs> All right, guys. No. Oh, oh my God, there, there are more, there are two more minutes right now. Okay, <laughs> time is over. <laughs> okay, guys, so uh, is there any way you can share with me what you have? Even though you have one, two, three patterns, I mean, three lines, it's fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, I want to listen to um, Mabel, are you VC today? No, fine. No. No, teacher, I can I can participate. Oh, thank you. Mabel, could you please share with us what you have? My paragraph. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I love El Lomo y la Aguja. This restaurant offered meat. Different options about meat. El Lomo y la Aguja is better than La Pampa because it has good service. The employees are gentler than La Pampa's employees. La Pampa is more expensive than El Lomo y la Aguja, but both are delicious food. But I'm sorry, have delicious food. El Lomo y la Aguja, uh, I, I can't continue <laughs> because go I- Go for I, it, I, no, I, go for I, it, I, Mabel. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Just that but I think. Continue. Do you have no, more? I, no? I didn't finish this. Oh, sorry. I meant you said, Can I continue? <laughs> okay, thank yes. you, Mabel. Good sorry. job. Good job. Thanks. Very good. Wonderful. Uh, okay, who wants to share with us your paragraph, guys? Who wants to do it? Luis, Luis Alberto, right? Yes. Great, perfect. Okay, trying, let's right? do it. Let's do it, Luis. Thank you. I like Mary's restaurant. My favorite restaurant is uh, smaller than others in the city, but it's better because it has very good service every day. They are making different delicious dishes for lunch and dinner. I think that the restaurant is using good recipes for cooking good and special dishes. Their dishes are better than others in the city. Their service is more complete than the service uh, that other restaurants can offer. The restaurant is, is cooking, is, is looking, uh, is looking for the best way to improve the process. We have two options, to cook in home or go out to the restaurant. Very good. I like the, the, last, the last thing that you said, um, that you can cook at home or either you can go to the restaurant because it is like the same uh, taste, right? That's what, what I understood. <laughs> but thank you very much, please. Good job. Perfect. All right. So... Emanuel, let's do it, Emanuel. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. Um, I ate in my favorite restaurant yesterday. The food is so delicious, but the service is not good. They need to improve that area and also add more options in their menu or a specialty to increase the customer. The restaurant is not the best, but is cheaper than other restaurants. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Emmanuel. Okay. I would like to listen to Marina Vanessa. Marina Vanessa, hello, Marina. Hello, teacher. I have a problem with my computer. I, I connect. Uh, oh, you was uh, not here. No worries, yes, Marina. Yes. Are you better? Are you better from your flu? Yes, yes. Great. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Kenny, could you please share with, with us what you have? No, Kenny is not here. Uh, okay, the last one. Let's see. Marcos Antonio Melgar Perez. Could you share what you have? 
Uh, no finish, teacher. Share what you have, even though it is one one line. Don't worry. Mm. Okay. Um, the concert. The concert was terrible and boring. Comma. So I come back my home. I came back. I came back I, home. I came back. In other situation, mm -hmm. the Academy Europea is very expensive. Comma. So I'm going to practice and learn English in in Safor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Do you have another one? The other one is mm -hmm. the deliver, delivery of the product was very fast, mm -hmm. but FedEx is faster. Mm -hmm. Very good, okay. Only that. Thank you very much. Very good, okay, Marcos. All right, uh, let's see the last one. Uh, we'll be sure by... Um, Luis Ernesto Gomez, are you there? No estoy. No estoy. Okay, Luis, go for it. My favorite restaurant is Happy Burger. It's smaller than other competitions, but they taste better than other options. Uh, also, I don't like the drink nor do I like the size. Very good. Good job, Luis. Wonderful. Okay, guys, very good job. Thank you very much for sharing what you have with me. If you want uh, me to check or correct your paragraph, mándeme una fotito de su paragraph y yo lo corrijo con mucho gusto si hay correcciones, all right? In case we have corrections. If you want me to do so, I can do it, guys. No worries, okay? So, let me let's, uh, let me continue then here. Uh, one second. And do me a favor, guys, and go to the page 12. Page number 12, we have a speaking practice in page number 12. Page number 12, please. Uh, here, okay, in the page number 12, guys, let me see, we have, um, we have a conversation in the page, in the page, sorry, in the page number 12, we have a conversation about popular menu items, okay, so basically this is a conversation between Nancy and Jennifer, they are talking about popular menu items, and they are, um, they are basically saying many percentages, all right? So we will know how to how to mention or how to pronounce that number, I mean, those numbers, those percentages, sure. I will go ahead and read it and you repeat after me, okay? I read it and then you repeat. Let me start. Nancy, um, how well are the new menu items doing? Repeat after me. How well are the new menu items doing? How well, how How well are the new, 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 new items doing? The main fish and ships courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. The main the fish and, and ship courses, courses are, are doing great. Ninety-nine percent of people, people like them. People like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only thirty-five percent of our customers liked it. Then the, the new level cake, cake line is not is doing not very doing well. well. Only 35% of all customers like the new level cake line. Then the new level cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of all customers like it. Very good, sorry. Uh, Nancy, what else? Uh, the new level cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of all customers like it. Very good, sorry. 
Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Let me check Let the online polls for recent products. Just like it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise um the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. Probably we only have to recite the lemon cake since not many people reacted well. Okay, let me get a second. Let's see. Sorry, guys, we will check some pronunciation of this uh, conversation, okay? Let's repeat after me. Items. 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 Um, uh, light them together. Light them. Light them. Light them. Light them. Light them. Unamos las palabras, guys. Light them. Light them. Light them. Light them. Light them. Luis, light them. Light them. Light them. Light it. 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 Let's check this one is lie them, lie them, lie them, lie them, lie them, probably, 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 reacted, reacted, okay, guys. So let, let me just something a bit about the time all right just one moment i want to check something and i'm going to write okay guys this is what we're gonna be doing right now uh look at the graphic that we have here okay Look at the graphic. Let's write the percentages next to the product, compare the answers later on. All right, for example, uh, the new lemon cake line, what is the percentage that we have for the lemon, lemon cake? What is the percentage that we have for the new Nashu snacks? And what is the percentage that we have for the fish and chips main, main course? Okay, please do me a favor and write down the percentage next to that product. Okay, here. Let's do this and while you're doing this, I will go through the attendance. Mientras hacen eso, voy a ir a, uh, voy a pasar la attendance list, guys. 
Nelson Vladimir Flores Martínez. José René Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Sabrina, por ahí la vi. Hello, Sabrina. No, she's not here. No, teacher. Good evening. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present, teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present, teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present, teacher. María Dinora Janet Hernández. Present, teacher. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present, teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present, teacher. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Julio César Merino González. Present. Uy, no sé si lo mencioné. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Lo mencioné. Present. Thank you. Josué Emanuel Rodríguez Hernández. Present teacher. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Por acá estaba Daniel Ezequiel, pero ahora no voy a ir. Bueno. Daniel Ezequiel. No está allá, ¿verdad? Ok. He's not here anymore. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present, teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Okay, great. So let me go back. Guys, all right. What is the percentage for the new lemon cake line? Guys? 30. 38%. 30? 38%. 38%? 38%? 38%? 38 or 35, guys? Let me see. 35. See here, right? 30. Let me see. Let me go back to the conversation. What does it say about it? Does, does it say something? 35, say. 35, right? 35. Yes. 35 because of the, of the conversation. But I think I'm not going to put it Yes, accordingly of the conversation is 38, uh -huh. but in the in the graphic is 30. Como que no lo han puesto, ajá. Yes, it's I not accordingly of the conversation uh -huh. because 35 is a middle. Le vamos a poner 35 porque dice conversation in graphic, pero acá le vamos a poner, oh my God. Vamos a poner acá. Rectecillo, please. All right. The new nacho snacks. What is the percentage that we have for the new nacho snacks? 80%. 80, 80%. 80%, right? 80%. Great. <clears throat> What about, guys, the next one that is Fish and Ships main course? 99, 99. 99. So, 99, right? 99%. 99%. Perfect. How did the conversation is? 99%. Perfect. So, guys, uh, which of the three products has the highest percentage of acceptance?
Okay. Fish and chips main course. Fish and chips main course. Very good. What is, what of the three, sorry, which of the three products has the lowest percentage of acceptance? The new lemon, the lemon okay. cake. The new lemon cake line, right? Okay, perfect. So, what do you think about this online poll? What is the best, what is the best, um, let's say, dish that this restaurant has according to the online polls? Sorry, teacher. What is the best dish that they have? Or the best, yes, the best that they have on the restaurant according the to the fish poll. the fish and chips fish my and course is the best dish the best dish according to the poll right the yes. customer says that it is better so very good guys let me stop sharing right now and i will to ask you before you go because it's almost time i would like to ask you if you might be happy or anything that I can do for you, any any doubt? Yeah, Luis. Podría silenciar los otros que casi no escucha. Sí, fíjese que eso estoy tratando de ver que 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 no sé la verdad. Hay un hay un ruidito, pero bueno, ahorita ya no. Okay, thank you. Pero guys, do you happen to have any question? Do you happen to have any question, anything, guys, uh, regarding the topic, fanboys, regarding what we uh, studied today? Tomorrow, we will continue talking about restaurant uh, vocabulary. We will work on the page 13, and later on, we will continue having reviews, all right? On Thursday and on Friday, we have review. On Friday, we have a complete review about the unit. All right, we will practice more. But I would like to ask you, do you have any other question before you go? No questions, everything good? No, yes. Everything good. No, no, Marcos. Okay, so guys, I hope you have an amazing night. Thank you for your time. See you tomorrow, okay? And have a blessed day tomorrow. Have a blessed Thursday, okay? Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks. Bye. 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 Daniel. Daniel. Hello, yes. Daniel. Thank you for staying. How are you today? I feel a little bit tired. I feel a bit boring. I'm a little bit sick. <laughs> really? Oh my god. Yeah, because I, I, I wake up so early at morning for it. Me too. Yeah, what time did you, did you wake up? Uh, my alarm sounds uh, around four. Uh, no. 15 to 5 a.m. in the morning. So early. Oh my God. Yes, it's so early. And we are not a, we are not morning people. <laughs> yeah, because but yes, I because in I live in I live in Suyapango, the the traffic was stressful at morning. Oh my I need God. to go out at five past forty. 45, but the, the traffic is so terrible here in Sayapango. Tell me, where do you, do you live? Oh, right now I'm living in Atikisaya. Do you know that? It's uh, so far. So far, it's, yes. It's mm, near of Guatemala. <laughs> yes, I know. Yes, but I know that the traffic is horrible that's what i'm i'm working from home <laughs> no but i couldn't imagine if i will travel every day right depending mm -hmm. on where will be my my job i don't know but i i couldn't imagine and i have been dealing with traffic before 
um, not close to Soyapango, but in San Salvador. So I know how is the traffic over there. And I, I was fed up of the traffic. <laughs> And yeah. also of the sound that it, it has, it's terrible. I was living in a house where my bathroom was next to the to a bus stage, uh, bus stop, sorry. And uh, the street was very noisy, like the street where I was, I mean, where the house was, right? And I was next, next to the bus stop, next to that noisy street, and believe me, it was so terrible. I oh, fed up about this and I, I feel I so peaceful. <laughs> the environment is, was so, yeah, let me see. <laughs> the, the environment with a lot of smoke. Yes. I was so bored. More everything. pollution. More pollution, yes. I couldn't even sleep. Huh? So it was terrible. I felt like I was in the middle of the traffic, even though I was in my bathroom. So I, I mean, I, I was fed up about this. Thankfully, right now, I am not listening that noises anymore. All right. But I know that feeling. Uh, and I have been uh, um, struggling with with uh, traffic whenever I was uh, studying I remember I woke up very early and yes it was terrible so I understand you Daniel but yes, for it, I feel a little bit of the game my my I have a little bit headache yes every day <laughs> right <laughs> just every day but yes. it's uh, but I think I feel better when I go out to the capital. <laughs> I feel, I think sometimes I think I would like to buy a house in that apartment, but my world is here in San Salvador. I feel uh -huh, it's, it's it will be so difficult to have a travel. There is a city that I like, but I don't remember right now. <laughs> it's close to La Libertad. I don't remember, but it's the the um oh my god i just forgot that the the um, <laughs> the climate there is awesome but i don't remember let me think let me think about that city but it's close to san salvador so you you, yes, you will santa be able Tecla to or, or Saragossa, i think ah, a wonderful place but i don't remember it's comasagua all right, Komasawa. Oh, have you gone there? I, I have a little bit of idea, but it's in the way of the Puerto La Libertad. I'm not yes. sure where is the place exactly. But it's beautiful and it's peaceful. You don't have traffic. I mean, uh, I really like it. So I would like to live there, but it's close because it's close to the city, right? And yes, yes. I really like it. There, there, there are. I mean, there is no traffic there, and I understand your point, Daniel, of living somewhere else, but close to your your job, right? <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, I always try to re review and re check the videos. I try to listen to the audios, uh, the 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 video that like to sent yesterday line, but when I saw, I, I feel asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is because of the hour and it's logic. I mean, you are tired, you want to sleep, and you're watching a video, then you get asleep. <laughs> it's normal, yes, I, uh, Daniel. It's normal. I, I I I like to watch TV and see a movie, but uh, nowadays not have any time to watch. Uh, it is because, because you feel so tired that you just want to sleep, right? Yes, yes. Uh, sometime after the class, I go out and go to the gas station. The station is gasolinera. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> and drink some coffee with us with nacho because after that I have a hungry. <laughs> uh -huh, oh, yeah. sometime I go and buy the choice, natural choice. Um, I feel relaxed. Or oh, sometimes I made uh, a <laughs> I, 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 
point. <laughs> like whenever the gas station becomes your best friend. <laughs> Because there are food there and you can go there like to buy something, right? I, I got your feeling. But thank you very much for sharing that with me, Daniel. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the time that we are speaking. We're practicing this, this language, right? Um, yeah. And I would like to ask you, Daniel, by this point, how do you feel in the course? Like, what do you think that are your um, areas of opportunity so that I can help you? Anything that I can do for you? If you have any comment, any doubt, anything related maybe with the topics that you would like to arrange for us or anything that I can do, feel free to tell me. So, um, let me see. I would like to discuss could be more more dynamics. For example, we have a lot of time to sit out for a long time. I need to move, I do some exercise. I, I, I don't know. You are like to be me. more dynamic. Like that, yes. that kind of exercises, yes. Because I I I I sit and I feel so I need to sleep. I I, I know. <laughs> I, I, I I take him a water, but I don't help it to me nothing <laughs> because for police I did uh, when I go, when I went to the presential forms to the English at uh, the English Corporativo in Centro La Salle, the the coach every day uh, make some exercise before in the middle and after the class is Energi so energizers right yes, yes, yes i yes. know believe me that i always i always um love those type of exercises sometimes i don't apply them because it is my is is it is i mean they are not part of the let's say of the program let's say but even though they are not part of the program, I try to do something else besides this because I don't understand sometimes it's, it's boring to be staying all the time over, over there. Of course, there are a lot of type of people, right? There might be some, uh, there might be some people that they prefer staying over there. And I have been, I have been practicing those kind of uh, of of activities that you mentioned, Daniel. And whenever I put them in practice, well, I don't know if all people are like that. They don't want, they don't even want to to stand up. And I am like, okay, you stand up. And they they prefer it's to stay there. So, it's, it's I don't know if it's, they it's are different. tired, right? Different type of people, yes, different type of people. That is pretty much it, right? Yes, but know. thank you very much, Daniel. I really appreciate it, and that that's why I really like this okay. type of sessions because in that way we can we can try to listen to more options, more strategies, and I will try to do so. Why not? I love them. I love the, those kind of activities, and I always implement the, this in my in my in my classes, right? Mostly whenever we are face to face. Yes. I always made my students to stand up, not to be uh, sitting, right, all the time. But we can try to do in a different way here. I mostly apply this, I remember, on Saturdays, but it was in another group because we were having classes like since 8 a.m. until 12. So it was a long time. So I always try to apply this and mostly because they were children. So they were like getting asleep all the time. So I wanted to, I, I, should, I should do this before because of that. But Thank you for that. I really appreciate it, and I will try to apply it. Let's yeah, see. It's only a suggestion, on. but if you have other 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 thing that you can apply for being more, um, let me see, um, despierto. How do you say? Uh -huh, like awaken. Uh huh. Awaken. Uh, yes. Awaken. Uh, right. Try to get the attention for the people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because sometimes our uh, classmate is 
uh, is making uh, other things but not paying attention, like me and sunshine. <laughs> they have to come <laughs> out, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, but right. I, think, I think every day will be better than yesterday than the other day. That's right. Thank you, Daniel. I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you very much. I would like to know, Daniel, if besides this, like if you have questions about the topics, about the um any doubt that you may have, any no, extra I really questions. I need more practice about the topics, but men and while I, I get a step and another step, I for me, I clear my ideas, but I think it's okay. Your explanation is okay, but um, and sometimes I think my other place may need to participate. In this place, Every people need to participate, not only Daniel, not only Luis, not only Marcos, every, every, for instance, I, sometimes I be quiet, I only watch, the, only, I, I, I be quiet, not always, but I, 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 I try to, because I, I would like to sometimes to speak, but I think, you no, know, it's necessary to other people practice. Yes, exactly. Yes, uh, believe me that I, I, I try to ask them if they are alive <laughs> because they have the camera off if they don't participate. Sometimes, Daniel, um, I mean, I have noticed they don't even have, they don't even are in classes. They are doing something else or maybe they are not paying attention. They're just connected and that's all. But that's something that I cannot control. I wish that I can control it, right? But unfortunately, I can. However, I believe that at the end, right, um, Insafor is the one that is going to taking care of, of that, right? Because I cannot just go ahead and, and say, okay, you need to do this, all right? You need to do that. But it, sometimes, yes, I realize it is because of these. It is because they are not in classes. <laughs> but yes, I believe this is the main reason. Sometimes it is because they are tired or they are something. Else. They are doing something else. Sometimes they are in classes. They are even in classes, <laughs> and they are here yeah. at the same time. So it's very difficult. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we will try, we will try to, to continue, right? Keeping keeping this on the track, keeping doing everything right. Uh thank you very much, Daniel. I really appreciate it. Only one that. question. Only one Tell only me. one question. Yes. <laughs> what you think about about me? If I I is good my participation in your class? Or oh, I need to improve it or oh, oh. I think it's you, you, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you participate. And if you participate more, that will be awesome. Why, Daniel? Because you might be saying, teacher, but you know what? I know that others need to participate as well. I know this. And, but Daniel, whenever you participate or whenever another person is participating, is constantly participating, they have a, I mean, they have an example to follow. I mean, whenever you partic start participating, then others start participating as well because they don't feel afraid of doing it. So it, I know this because I have been a student as well and I have been a shy student as well. And yes, I, yeah. I, sometimes there are people that wait others that participate first in order for them to participate. So yes. whenever you do it all the time, Daniel, that helped me others to participate as well. In my uh, perception, you always are participating, right? But I believe that sometimes you stop participating because of what you told me, right? Because you want every everyone to participate. But um, Daniel, Let's go ahead and continue like participating the way that you do. If you can participate more, let's do it. Think about your learning, all right? 
think about that at the end. The more that you participate, the more that you learn. If the others, are, uh, the other people do not want to practice, it's fine. At the end, you're practicing, okay? I okay. always ask others to participate all the time, right? Sometimes it's difficult that all of us participate at the same time. But if you can, believe me, that will be a great help for me as well, okay? Oh. So okay. you're doing awesome, Daniel. I thank you very much as well, in particularly because whenever we make the breaker rooms, you always motivate the others to participate yeah. and you make it you make it a real conversation. I really like it that you are always asking, hello, so how are you today? Tell me what's your name? How do you like to be called? Because they feel comfortable whenever you do that. Yes. Okay, so yes thank yes, you yes. very much for that, okay? okay you're welcome. I know I can count on you whenever I'm making the break errands, okay? Yes, I know. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it, okay? You okay. are a great help in my class. So keep, keep doing you. this, please. <laughs> All right? Okay. Oh, that's okay. okay. If there's anything that I can do for you, Daniel, count on me. If there's anything that you would like to improve, any piece of advice, any tip, let me know. I will be, okay. I'll try to do my best so you can continue learning, okay? Okay. 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 Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Any other Thank question? You. Any other thing that I can mm -hmm. do for you? For a no, for moment, no. For a moment, I think in my, in my bed. <laughs> Next time, if you have any other, uh, anything else to tell me, send me a WhatsApp, please. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. okay All right. Bye -bye. Thank you very much, Daniel. I really appreciate your time and I hope you have an amazing night. Take care. Okay. A bunch Thank of blessings you. for you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice. Daniel. Good night.